All right. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is they're asking us to prove our two triangles, u, v, y, is congruent to x, v, w. All right? And there's a couple things that they gave us, a couple pieces of information. They say that two lines are parallel. And they also say that v is the midpoint of the line y, w. Okay. So they're asking us to prove it. So the first thing that we're always going to want to start in with our proof is our statement and our reason. So I'll just start this over here. So we have statement reason. All right. Now, without any mathematical thinking, the easiest thing for you guys to do to at least get started is take the information that is provided to you and write that in your proof to go ahead and get started. So the first statement we have is ui. ui is parallel to xw. And the reason we know that is because that is given. All right. Then we have another one is v is the midpoint of yw. OK? So I'm pretty sure everybody, everybody in this class, when they're starting off their proofs, can at least get the proof started and at least write down the given information. Is that correct? Yeah? We can at least do that. All right, but now what we want to do is start thinking about, all right, so let's take, our, let's take the information that's given and see what does that tell us. So when I have parallel lines, ladies and gentlemen, remember when we talked about parallel lines? You had two lines that looked like this, all right? <clears throat> the only thing we talked about parallel lines was we know parallel lines, you know, never intersected and so forth. They continue indefinitely. But we talked about parallel lines is when we had a line that crossed it, which we called, Berta, do you remember? Remember we call that line that crosses parallel lines? No, transversal. Thank you, AJ. So we have that transversal line. So if we have two parallel lines and a transversal line, then we have some angle relationships about that transversal and the parallel lines, one of them being alternate interior. right? We also talked about alternate exterior and corresponding angles, and then interior, um, interior sum theorem not interior sum theory, um, consecutive interior, consecutive interior angles. Um, so anyways, let's look at here. We have two parallel lines, right? You guys see these two lines are parallel. Well, here, if you kind of continue these, pretend they're like continuous parallel lines, all right? You guys can see there's two transversals. There's a transversal going here, and there's a transversal going there. So by looking at them and knowing that we have, trans, that we have um, this transversal, I can say that that angle is equal to that angle. Right? If you look at them, how they relate on that transversal, you can just sit right there. How these two angles relate on this transversal, um, you can see that these are going to be alternate interior angles. Does everybody see that? Okay. So therefore, I can write, I can write angle u is congruent to angle x. Why do I know those are congruent? Because, that's a given, because they're alternate interior angles. All right? By using the same thinking, I can say that this angle is congruent to that angle. Because these two angles are both on this transversal, which intersects the parallel lines, so these are also alternate interior angles. So now I can say angle y is congruent to angle w. OK? So when you guys are looking into solving a proof, I know it's not easy. What you want to do is take the information that is provided and see how is that going to help you formulate some angles and some sides that are going to be equal for both triangles. Because remember, for us to prove congruency, we have to have one of our um, types of congruency, which I'll write down on the board here in just a second. Um, the next thing, the next piece of information, is said v is the midpoint. v is the midpoint. So, um, la, 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 Zach, if v is the midpoint, what is that? If v is the midpoint of my line y w, what does that tell you about the placement of v in addition to the line? that it's in the middle, so therefore, from y to v and w to v are equal, right? They're congruent. They're equal in measure. So I'll show that by giving them one little tick mark. So now I can say 
that my line yv is congruent to my line wv because the definition of midpoint. If it's in the middle, then you know it cuts the line in half. Would everybody agree with me on that? OK. So now we have given our, we have two statements. We've given three other statements. And the only way for us to prove that two triangles are congruent that we've talked about in class is side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So we look at our two triangles, and can we use one of those congruency statements? Sierra, which one do you think? OK, because we need to prove this. And the other thing, when you're looking at your proof, if it says to prove this, that's going to be your last statement. So you say triangle U, V, Y is congruent to triangle X, V, W. So Sierra, let's. Um, Let's go and look at this. Do they have all the sides equal for both triangles? It's angle, angle, side, right? You go to ang or angle to angle to side. Angle to angle to side. So yes, these two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side. Ta-da. Good job. There you go. You did it. Where's my coffee? Huh? Angle, side, angle. You, I mean, you're showing that those are vertical angles? OK, you could, you could work that. You could go through that angle. How do you know that y is the same, I mean, angle y is the same as angle w if I only alternate the circle? Because you agree that these two angles are congruent, right? Right? Would you agree that these two angles are equal by alternate to your angles? Here's two parallel lines, and there's your transversal. It's like me drawing this like that. Right? So I just took my parallel lines and rotated so that my parallel lines are now vertical lines. OK? Any last questions?